All right, just give me one second. I think we're rolling and we're good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor, please turn on your cameras if you want credit for this class. My name is Professor Stakeno. Now, you can say Professor Stick for short. That's Stick with a Q, not a K. It's French, it rolls off the tongue. This is Intrepid University. And for our first class today, our topic is time dedication in MMOs. Now, what better way to learn about MMOs than from a professor who has little to no experience in the field? I mean, that's how most professors operate. Am I wrong? So what we're going to do is, I'm going to call on you. I'm going to ask you a question. All I need you to do, tell us your name, your major, and your focus. Let me look at the syllabus and we shall get started. Okay, so how much time do you think someone should spend in an MMO to become an expert? You, sir, with the hat. Thank you for the question, Professor Stick. Um, name's Vladis, I major in MMORPG expertise. And to be an expert in an MMO is kind of a, you know, kind of a conundrum because in what you know if you're going to be a doctor you know there's very specific doctors there's oncologists there's uh, ear throat and mouth specialists and it's the same thing with the mmorpg genre so to be an expert in the entire field is just it's not exactly like common and there's a lot of people that specialize into dungeons raids pvp class design talents um, even the more ancillary things like pet battles, collecting, you know, mounts, transmog. It, it's, I think if you're going to be an expert in the field, it's just knowing what niche of the MMORPG genre you want to be an expert in and go all in and just learn as much as you can about it. Because I know plenty of people who played an MMO for almost 15 years and only are an expert in literally just a sliver of that game. So I hope that answers your question. Okay. I want everyone to listen up. Listen, this guy thinks he knows what he's talking about because he's using big words and speaking confidently. It's Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. Can I call you Vlad? Okay. That's the first problem with MMO players right there. They do this because they want to assert their dominance. Listen, listen, listen. You got it all wrong. Vlad, Vlad, if you're sold on skippity smart, why don't you go start a podcast talking about MMOs? I, I think you should do that. If, if, if you know everything, yeah, go do that. Go, go do that. Because your point is that since MMOs are so big, there's so much to learn. No one can become an expert. Not me. I was born an expert. I was born an expert. But this is why you're all here learning from the best now if we continue to add some more catch-up mechanics some more pay to win some more quality of life services one of two things are going to happen one i will be able to buy another tesla gotta get that model x two everyone will be an expert okay moving on how skilled should players be in an mmo calling on the man that's filming in the wilderness. Yeah, my name is Rive Genesis. This is my 23rd year here at Intrepid University, and I know you might be thinking, man, that's a long time to be at one university to just get a four-year undergraduate degree, and the reality is Intrepid University has a very, very hardcore party scene. You know, I've got sucked into that a little bit, and, you know, I've had a few issues passing some classes, but, you know, that's the way it goes. My focus here at Intrepid University is on PvP and economy, because those are the things, you know, and MMOs that I've always been the most interested in. And I will also add, you know, Stakeno the best professor here at Intrepid University, hands down. And, you know, I really need him to pass me in this class because it's not looking good right now. But do you need to be a skilled player to be an expert in MMOs? Well, that's a fantastic question. I think a lot of people are going to give different responses on this kind of question. Um, for me, I think it's very complex because what does skilled mean? I think everybody has a different definition of skilled, first of all. And then also, there are many different aspects of MMOs. You have PvE, PvP, economy, crafting, all these different aspects. And especially in Ashes of Creation where crafting matters and all these other things actually matter. And it's not just your 
PvE skill that is the only thing that matters, or your PvP skill is the only thing that matters. In Ashes, you really need to be good at multiple different aspects. So it really depends on the MMO. Like in retail, well, sure, you could just focus on PvE and not have to worry about anything else. Crafting doesn't matter. PvP doesn't matter if you're only focused on PvE raiding. In Ashes, like to be an expert in Ashes requires high level play in all aspects of the game, which not very many people are going to be able to say that they can actually accomplish. And then going back to the whole idea of what is a skilled player, everybody has different definitions. Some people think, well, if I make this build that kills a bunch of noobs in PvP, then I'm a great player. And the reality is that's not true, obviously. Uh, for me, skilled player would be a skilled player beating another skilled player consistently right obviously you're not going to beat other skilled players every single time but winning 70 80 percent of the time against another player that's a very good as well obviously that's that's a thing that's one aspect that could determine skill however ashes if you're looking at it in an ashes specific way um, it's larger scale pvp typically right and that is a whole different animal um, and there's so many different aspects to that and i would also add like if you have a fantastic gamer name like noob slayer 69 obviously you're an expert okay one <laughs> if you've spent 23 years here then you're cooked that's what the kids say you're cooked brother <laughs> Just go get a new career path, get a CDL, maybe try welding. I think it's over for you. But I will say, I will say, if you don't have the time, then you don't have the grind. And if you don't have the grind, you don't have the what? Ladies and gentlemen, the wine. This guy, I think he has the wine in him. I think he has the wine in him. 23 years is crazy. But here, we still have some problems. So just like the bimbo before you, you're telling me that I have to be good at everything in Ashes of Creation. Are you dense? What do you mean if I kill a bunch of noobs, I'm not great? 1000%, I'm the man. Okay, let's be honest with each other here. Can, can we do that? Can we just be honest for just a moment here? Because in order to be a skilled player, a few things have to happen. One, open YouTube. Two, look up a build. Three, copy that build. Four, be toxic. That's it. That's all you have to do, literally. That is it. So now, you don't even have to have game knowledge. You don't even need to be dedicated. But you must be willing to learn to copy others. Moving on. What are the differences between an expert versus a casual player? We'll call on you, the condescending one. Hey y'all, my name is Zillin and I am a 25th year major at Intrepid University with a focus on hardcore competitive PVE content. The question that was sent to me is what is the difference between an expert and a casual player? And I actually think that that is a poorly worded question uh, because you can be both casual and, and expert. Um, it can not matter to you as much. You can just play the game for fun and not be a big deal to you, but you know all about the game, all the systems, everything you do, all the different armor sets, all the different bo set bonuses. You know, you can know everything, um, but just not really pursue excellence in the game. And so end up being more casual. So I'm going to amend the question to the difference between a casual and an elite player. And to me, it gets pretty much just gets down to want to. Do you want it? Are you willing to just go for it? Are you willing to spend all of your time trying to get 1% better and then 1% better and then 1% better? Um, if you're not, that's fine. Lots of people play the, that get you know in that way, the very casual way like that. That's fine. It's no big deal. Uh, but you're never going to be an elite player if it doesn't matter to you. If you don't want to, uh, whereas the elite player, they are always looking to get better. They want to be known as the best, you know, in their as their class, or maybe the best in their spec of their class, or maybe the best at a specific aspect of the game. Um, they want to. Uh, and so I would say that that is pretty much the biggest difference. If you're looking at what's the difference between a casual player and an elite player, it's pretty much want to. Oh, class, I am so, so sorry. Please forgive me. I was playing Pokemans and I just got a shiny Charizard, which is far more important than whatever Xylophone was saying. Because, okay, your reasoning is just pretty much saying it comes down to who wants it more. I have a question for you. Do you wanna shut up? Because it seems like you just wanna to listen to yourself talk. Gonna be honest with you, all right? 
How much game knowledge do you think is required in order to be an effective player in an MMO? Let's go with uh, the two over here. Um, hi, uh, my name is Vertec. I have a master's degree in MMORPGs with a focus on uh, complex interdependent interpersonal and intergildial relationships between noobs and elites. Um, my studies have indicated a direct causal relationship between one's efforts and one's success in an MMORPG, uh, hitherto forthwith and uh, ongoingly referred to simply as uh, MMO. Um, judging by a quantified time spent in an MMO contributes far lesser uh, gainful effects than qualitatively judging how that time was spent. Uh, of course, we all know that knowledge equals uh, time multiplied by effort. Uh, thus, uh, focusing one's efforts into a single subject will likely result in maximal knowledge gain for time invested. Um, uh, therefore, uh, effectiveness in the single subject uh, would be much greater than other subjects, and, and these results would be uh, generated with less overall knowledge of all content contained within that entire MMO's catalog. <clears throat> um, I'm Chibi, uh, same major as him, but uh, my focus is on uh, tavern ownership and alchemy. Um, alchemical theory, you know, basically he's saying that his focus is on how people rely on each other, you know, regardless of your, your skill, um, and that, you know, beca you become more effective as you gain more knowledge, um, but that depends on how much time you spend gaining that knowledge. Um, essentially, you can be really effective in, in one area without really knowing much about the others. Uh, affirmative, but, but I, I just said I, 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 I have no criticisms. I didn't think there was a deeper level of nerd than what we just saw, genuinely. And I teach at an MMO university. These two made the rest look normal. I don't think it's far-fetched to say that you should know what you're getting into. If you're going to do a dungeon, know the mechanics. If you're going to do a raid, know the raid boss's family. Why wouldn't you? Because this is what separates these players. Who really wants it? As Xylophone said, who wants it? Take that extra step to know more. All right, boys and girls, that's going to wrap up our first official class. Unfortunately for you, we do have a pop quiz next Friday on the fighter class in Ashes of Creation. So be sure to get to class early, 1 p.m. on my Twitch channel. Again, that is twitch.com tv slash stakeno if you haven't created an ashes of creation account yet feel free to use my intrepid university link that's gonna help me uh get tenure here yeah please do that your discord link is in the blackboard feel free to keep up with me on x and twitch i talk about other things but i mean besides that i can't really say it was a pleasure <laughs> get out my class